Wow, that looks really neat. Yes, incredible. Hey guys, what are you looking at? The Indominus Rex. Don't you have a squirrelific vision? Squirrelific vision? That's such a squirrel's tail trait. Besides, I like real dinosaurs instead. She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Yep. Oh darn. On the table, one of the most anticipated toys of summer 2019, Jurassic World Dino Rivals Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex from Mattel. Yeah, but toy makers were so preoccupied whether or not they could that they did not stop to think if they should. <laughs> and dinosaurs, nah. Thanks, Malcolm. Like I was saying, the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex is on the table. This monstrous hybrid features Slash, Roar, and Devour. We have three roaring sounded features, and with two action feature buttons on her back, lots to behold. On the back of the box of the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex, lights up. I don't really recall why the toy companies like lighting her up so much. I guess in this case we can pretend she swallowed a flare. Again the toy features slash roar and a devour, with plenty of points of eating articulation. Yeah, I would be worried Owen, he sure looks to be. Also inside a collector card. And some important fine print if you're not eaten by the Indominus Rex, warning this toy produces flashes that may trigger epilepsy in sensitized individuals. So be careful with that. Not really sure why this toy is always associated with Owen and Blue, like they are included with it, but so far it's just the Indominus Rex. Although perhaps we'll see other combo packs with this dinosaur, Mattel has been known to do that. So we have a fantastic long open box design with Destroy and Devour. Again, this is one of those toys where you kind of want to be careful of shelfware. Inspect your dinosaur a little bit, make sure... ...buttons and things like that are working well, so that you don't get home with a broken Indominus Rex. So far though, this one looks pretty good. I think we're okay. Well, now it's time to open from package. She seems pretty stuck in package, so sometimes I like to use the Dimitridon to get toys out. The sail on the back works as a great saw. Oh. But the Dimitridon is still in a package too, so I guess I'll have to use the Minmi as an emery board to weaken the straps first. Then substitute the Protoceratops as the nail clippers. So let's give that a shot. There we go, and one over here. Okay, I think we got it. All right, the Dimitri Don is out now. What were we doing again? I kind of forgot. Oh, oh, that's right, the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. Okay, let's get her out. Her feet are actually anchored down at the base of the box, so I loosened up those prior, and there's a small set of instructions included too. Because of the narrow depth of the box, she's kind of doing a tinkle dance right now, so we need to rotate her feet around to make her stand more authentic. Ah, there we go. Gotta say, early on again, always really impressed how Mattel does the footprints of these. Most of their dinosaurs stay standing up really well. So far, the detail of Indominus Rex is looking very spot on. Mostly a very pale hybrid, with some darker shaded details going down her back and a little bit more around her eyes. She's not really camouflaged to anything right now, really standing out bright. Very nice scaly and spiky detail going out throughout her body, with rubberized spikes going down her neck, some softer spines down her back, some more spiny things on her forearms, and painted toe claws. The detail Mattel puts into these toys is pretty spot on good. So what do we have going for our first action feature? We'll start with the first button by her neck. Dimitridon might not be the best dinosaur to work with because of her awesome back sail. So maybe for now we'll work with this Protoceratops. It looks like it might fit down the gullet a little easier. So we'll press the front button for slashing and action sounds. So you can see the Indominus Rex arms kind of hugging inward. We also have articulation on these elbows for added reach. <laughs> so 
so you can kind of get her to grab onto maybe a larger dinosaur. And you can possibly use these claws to grab onto a smaller dinosaur a little bit too. There's not much grip in there though. The main action feature though lies in the back button though. This is where we'll hear some great roaring sounds and lights. Here's a more terrifying frontal view of the head. So let's give it a shot and try to eat a protoceratops. You're going to want to pose the Indominus Rex into an attack position. It's helpful just to grab that back leg and pull down. You can kind of see how her head moves up and down. So attack position, her head is pointing down. Now we can press and hold the back button to open its mouth and release to bite the smaller dinosaur. Now the instructions indicate it might be a little easier to lift the Indominus Rex off the table and grab from a pie. And again, you might have to experiment on finding a dinosaur that's best to bite onto. There we go, I've awkwardly positioned the Protoceratops into a lunch position. Now we're going to pull down the tail for devour position. Wow, we're angled up really high right now, but now we'll just press the back button repeatedly to swallow this smaller dinosaur. Or fling her out. It's still kind of looking like the Protoceratops is not the best dinosaur to grab onto. Let's try one of the smaller mini dinosaurs. Let's try a small mini version of Dilophosaurus. There's lots to grab on there. And now maybe we can try some swallowing. Whoops. There we go, I think we got it. There's actually not too much room inside that neck to really fit anything. Oh, Dilophosaurus saved. Now, do I have any other dinosaur to try to fit in there? I'm guessing on the front of the box they're using one of those hunched down Velociraptors. I hate to have the Indominus Rex eat a Velociraptor, but just for the sake of the video, jam one down there. There we go. I think that's the most you could really fit one in there. Again, there's not much room. There's a wall right about here. So that's about as much as we are going to devour. Uh-oh, stickbot monkey, you got too close. Poor stickbot monkey. I probably should say that no dinosaurs were seriously hurt in the filming of this toy review, except for maybe Stickbot Toy Monkey. We'll be looking for him for a while. Haha, <laughs> that's one big pile of uh... Overall, I would say the action feature works delightfully well in eating dinosaurs and causing lots of mayhem. Excuse me, I have a dinosaur tooth collection I'm working on. Can I borrow the Indominus Rex for just a sec? <laughs> Well, looky there, there's plenty of room inside that gullet for a human figure, though. Funny, they don't suggest that in the instructions. 
So let's do some quick comparisons of past Indominus Rexes. Here would be the first Indominus Rex. From the original reboot Jurassic World, a Hasbro produced toy, the Indominus Rex here. A little bit uh, clunkier in how it worked. Very hard to stand. Always likes to fall over on me still. Had that really cool soft neck, but when you pulled the arms down, would give a nice growl. There's also some light up features in the back there that you can see and I believe this one did something kind of funny, but that's about it really. Kind of clunky, uh, not really the best, but since it was the first, you always have to give the first a pass for getting all the bugs out. Then there was... Whoa. Then there was this other Hasbro hybrid Indominus Rex. This one featured some spikes on its back that like to flip up somehow, and some chomping action. If I remember right, you would ratchet this arm up and it would give this great chomping action. A lot more colorful with this one. This one was a little more fun. I like the golden arms on this one, so that one was a little bit better done by Hasbro. Still though, very difficult to stand some of these with their small, narrow footprints. Of course, next we have to look at Lego Indominus Rex. Obviously a little bit smaller, but if you're a fan of the Lego builds, probably one of the better. Always like the basic articulation of the Lego dinosaurs. The only other Indominus Rex that I can think of that Mattel has produced is the Very Hungry Indominus Rex. I'm very hungry. No, 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 it's not very hungry. This was the defeated dead Indominus Rex that lay at the bottom of the Mosasaurus' pond that they uh, looked for the bone in the second movie. Uh, kind of, <laughs> he's stuck to my thumb. And I'm actually kind of really well surprised on how many points of articulation they gave it. There's some in the neck and the mouth. We can move here as well. The arms are on posts that are really tight, so I don't want to mess with them, but there's also some by the hip here. You can move up and down. The tail, you can move side to side, and the legs have some in there too. It's a little bit fragile, so I'm a little bit worried, but that's the hungry Indominus Rex. One last comparison, not to another Indominus Rex, but to a bite and fright Tyrannosaurus Rex. Also a Mattel Dino Rivals toy. You can see she's just a little bit smaller, but not by much. They both came in very long packages. But you can see the two will play really well against each other. For sure a little more meat on Indominus, so the fight will be a good one. Also keep an eye out for the bite and fright, she's still very readily available. And that is the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex from Jurassic World Dino Rivals Mattel Toys. The wait for this toy was worth it. In fact, they didn't really need to go back and do an Indominus Rex, but they did, which is truly awesome. Awesome to see that the Indominus Rex is still very popular enough to be on store shelves. It's such a fantastic dinosaur to look and play with, and this new version is possibly the best new version to play with. Worth keeping an eye out for. See, here I'm now, standing by myself, uh, er, talking to myself. That's, that's chaos theory. Jurassic World Dino Rivals Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex from Mattel arrives on store shelves summer 2019, runs approximately $39.99, but so strong she may do possibly lots of chores around the house for you. Look for the Indominus Rex, unless she camouflages herself, then probably move out. That's what I have to say about that. Hey there, my logo. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.